Hi there, welcome to Tadpoles Lesson 6, and we're going to be doing rounding. So a quick lesson on rounding. So when we round a number, we make it the full um, tens place, or yeah, you, we usually do it to the tens place, but you can also do it to the hundreds place or any place. So for example, if we have the number 6, 6 on a number line we have one, two, three, four, and five is in the middle of the number line. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So six is more closest to ten than to zero. Because to get to ten, they only have to add four, but to get to zero, you have to subtract six. So therefore, six can be rounded to ten. But say we want to do a uh, 2, for example. So we have 5 in the middle, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. 2 is way closer to 0 than it is to 10. Because to get to 0, you only have to subtract 2, but to get to 10, you have to add 8. So therefore, you can round 2 to 0. That's a basic lesson on rounding. So rounding integer numbers. So these are like simple numbers. So we're going to round each number to the nearest 10. And remember, 10's place is this place. So 93 since it has a 3 at the end. So basically how we're going to be doing this is they're all um, uh, two-digit numbers. We're going to be rounding each number based on the single place, the ones place. So if it's beneath, so if it's less than 5, we're going to round down. But if it's greater than or equal to 5, we're going to round up. So since this 3, since 3 here, is less than, we're going to have to round down. So the nearest, um, uh, nearest 10 to 93 is going to be 90. Now for 81, 1 is our 1's place. So it, since it's less than 5, we're going to have to round down to the nearest 10. And the nearest 10 to 81 is going to be 80. 4. So 4 is less than 5, so we're going to round down. And the nearest 10 to 34 is going to be 30. For 56, we have a 6 in the 1's place, which is different because it's greater than 5. So we're going to round up to the nearest 10. So the nearest 10 to 56 is going to be 60. 34, 4 is in our 1's place, and that's going to be less than 5. So we're going to round down to the nearest 10, which is 30. 63, the 1's place is less than 5, so we're going to round down. And the nearest 10 to 63 is going to be 60. For 19, we have a 9, and obviously this one's pretty close to 20, so we're going to round up to 20. 11, our 1 is in the 1's place, so we're going to round down to the nearest 10, which is just going to be 10, because... Another way to visualize this, you could make a number line. You could do 15 here. Here's 10 and 20. The nearest 10 is to 11. And 11 falls right around here. And it's closer to 10 than it is to 20. 16, our 6 is in the 1's place, and that's greater than 5. So we're going to round up to the nearest 10, which is 20. So, and again, a way to visualize it as on the number line, 16 would be around here. And obviously, that's closer to 20 than it is to go all the way to 10. 39, nines, you're always going to round up because it's just one closer to the 10 
So the closest 10 to 39 is going to be 40. And we're going to keep doing this. So for this one, these are three digit numbers, but we're going to do the same thing since it's asking us to round to the nearest 10. So we're just gonna look at the ones place. So this one is, one is less than five, so we're going to round down, and the nearest 10 is going to be 70. We can plot this on our number line. We have our two tens, there's 170 to 180, and 171 falls right around here, and that's so much closer to 170 than it is to 180. Eight, eight, we're going to round up since it's above five. Um, so it's the nearest 10 is going to be 870. For 897, seven is greater than five, so we're gonna round up. But this one, we have a problem because our tens place is going to be, um, it's going to become 900 because our tens place is a 9. And thus, if we round up, it's going to change it the entire, um, the, the hundreds place too. So it's going to be 900. So for this one, this one is 6 is greater than 5. So we're going to have to round up. And that 60 is going to become a 70 now. For 8, it's greater than 5, so we're going to round up, so that 30 is going to become a 40. 16, so that 6 is greater than 5, so we're going to have to round up because it's closer to 20. Whoops. 558, we have an 8 here that's greater than um, 5, so we're going to change that 50 because it's going to be closer to 60. 95, so this one is those um, cases where if it's greater than or equal to 5, we're going to round up. And this one is equal to 5, so we're still going to round up to 400 because the tens place is a 9, so it's just going to affect the hundreds place too. So 723, 3 is our ones place. It's less than 5, so we're going to round down, so it's going to keep it at 20. Uh, 256, 6 is greater than 5, so we're going to round up, so that 50 is going to change to a 60. 60. Rounding integers by comparison, so we're going to round to the nearest 10 above and below, and circle the rounded number that is closest to the given number. Okay. 
So basically, this is just telling us the tens that are closest to the number and then which one we would round it to. So for 79, it would be 70 and 80. But it is um, above 5, so we're going to round it to 80. 63, we have 60 and then 70, but it's below 5. So we're going to round down to 60. 29, we have 20 and 30. It's much closer to 30, so we're going to do 30. And it's above 5. 14, it's below 5. But, and we have a 10 and 20, but it's closer to the 10. 59, 60, and 5. It's much closer to 60 because it's above 5. 52, we have 50 and 60. It's below 5, so it's much closer to 50. 91, we have 90 and 100. It's much closer to 90. 23, we have 30 and 20. It's closer to 20 because it's below 5. 58, it's above 5, the one's place. So 60 and 50, but it's closer to 60. And we're going to do the same thing. with our three digit numbers. So it would be 780 and 770, but it has a 9 and that's above 5, so we're going to round up. It has a 1, so we're going to round down to 960 because it's closer to 960 than it is to 970. Um, 862, we have 860, and then 870, it's a 2, so it's much closer to 60. 222, this one's a little confusing, so it's going to be 220 and 230. The 2 indicates that it's going to round down. 996, it could be between 1000 or 990, it has a 6 and that's above 5, so we're going to round up to 1000. 691, it could be 690 or 700. It has a 1, so we're going to round down and we're going to choose this number. 813, 810 to 820. It has a 3 that's less than 5, so we're going to round down. 486, it's above 5, so we're going to choose the one on the right-hand side because that one's rounding up. So it's closer to 490 than it is to 480. And then 222, I think... This is the same thing, so it's just 230 over here, 220 as a 2 because it's below 5, so we're going to round down. And that's 
our answers. Let's check that. Looks good. So we're going now we're going to be rounding to the nearest hundred. So this is going to be a bit different because instead of rounding to the nearest 10, we're going to be rounding to the nearest 100, and this is only for three-digit numbers. So for this one, uh, we're, our tens place is going to be our indicator instead of our ones place. So if it's above, so if our tens place, oops, if our tens place is less than five, round down if our tens place is greater than or equal to five we're going to round up so this one is greater than five so we're going to round up and the nearest hundred is going to be 900 for this one seven is greater than five so we're going to round up and nearest hundred is 700 386 eight greater than five we're going to round up to 400 862 greater than 5 we're going to round up to 900 128 2 is less than 5 so we're going to round down to 100 995 uh it's a 9 it's greater than 5 so we're going to round up to 1000 355 it's equal to 5 so we're still going to round up to 400 uh, 754, we have a 5, and that's equal to 5, so we're going to round up still. 668, it's above 5, so we're going to round up to 700. 735, it's, above, it's below 5, so we're going to round down to 700. And this is the same thing, just with four-digit numbers, so we're just going to get bigger and bigger. So for this one, we're going to do, since it's below 5, we're going to round up, but that's going to increase the um, thousands place too because we have a 9 in our hundreds place, so it's going to become 10,000. Oh, just kidding, sorry. Sorry about that. So because it is less than 5, it is... Uh, less than, whoops, it is less than five. Uh, we're going to round down, so actually it's going to be 900 because we round down. Sorry about that. 
I was thinking that if the, so if it was above five, then you would change the thousands place to 10,000. So for this one, we're gonna look at this, nine. So that means we're going to round up. So it's going to be four, 800 for this one. Ours is three, that's less than five, so we're gonna round down. Uh, four is less than five, so we're going to round down to 600. This one is de uh, less than five, so we're going to round down to 700. Four is below, so we're going to round down to 300. This one is uh, above five, so we're going to round up to 900. Above five, so we're going to round up to 900. This one is below 5, so we're going to round down to 700. This one is equal to 5, so we're going to round up to 400. And that's how we do that. Next, we're going to do to the nearest thousand, so we're just getting going to get bigger and bigger. So now, uh, our hundreds place is going to be our indicator. So hundreds place... So if this is less than five, then we're gonna round down. But if it's greater or equal to five, then we're going to round up. So since this is less than five, we're going to round down to 400. Uh, oops, sorry. We're going to round our entire number down to 4,000 because it's affecting the thousands. So since this one is equal to five, we're going to round up to 5,000. Greater than five, we're gonna round up to 6,000. Greater than five, we're gonna round up to 9,000. Greater than five, we're gonna round up to 8,000. This one is less than five, so we're gonna round down to 2,000, because if we're on a scale, 2,000, and between 2,000 and 3,000, 2,368 will be around here, and that is closer to 2,000 than it is to 3,000, so we're gonna round down. Uh, 9,384, 3 is our, in our hundreds place, and it's less than 5, so we're going to have to round down to 9,000. 2,563, 5 is in our hundreds place, it's equal to 5, so uh, we're going to round up to 3,000, the next 1,000. Uh, 6,479, it's a 4, so we're going to round down to 6,000. 7,991, it's a 9, so we're going to round up to the ne ne nearest 1,000, which is 8,000. And we're just going to do the same thing here, except they're going to put another number, so it's just going to get bigger. So...
over here we have our oh, we have our one here so we're gonna round down to nine thousand oops that was to nine thousand we're just gonna leave we're not gonna mess with this number over here um we have a nine so we're gonna round up to thirty four thousand we have a nine so we're gonna round up to five fifty eight thousand we have a three so we're gonna round down to eighty two thousand we have a one so we're gonna round down to sixty two thousand we have a two so we're gonna round down to seventy four thousand we have a four, less than five, we're gonna round down to 65,000. We have a three, less than five, so we're gonna round down to 99,000. We have a three, less than five, we're gonna round down. Just change those, these two zeros. Uh, we have a six, so we're gonna change that five to a six, and then zeros. And then those are our answers. So we're gonna, now this is rounding money. So this is how it correlates to the real world. So we're gonna round each number to the nearest one. So this is basically what we did. So to the nearest one is this one, but we're going to do it based off of the next one. So since this is a four, we're just gonna go like that. It's a three, we're not gonna change anything except change that to zeros because we're gonna be rounding down. We're rounding down again here. We're rounding up this time, so that's that 76 is going to be changed to a 77. Oops. Um, that's a one, so we're gonna leave it at 15. Somebody gives me so this sixty-one dollars and seventy-three cents. I just say it's sixty-two dollars because it's a seven. It's a one, so we're gonna round down. It's a nine, so we're gonna round up. Four, so we're gonna round down. And a three, so we're gonna round down.
and we're gonna keep rounding to the nearest one based on this one so this is gonna be 160 this time because this one is going to affect this one and this one becomes a zero so this one affects this one and this one changes to a six and then zeros after so we have a seven here and that's greater than five so that's going to change it to 866 three so we're going to round down eight so we're going to round up seven so we're going to round up five so we're going to round up five so we're going to round up Three, so we're gonna round down. Seven, so we're gonna round up. It's supposed to be a six. Five, so we're gonna round up. And that's what we should get. Okay, let's keep going. So for this one, we're going to round to the nearest 10. I'm going to give you guys like five minutes to work on this, and then I'll show you guys the answers just so we can work on our own for a little bit. So, here are the answers. To check. Okay. So, round to the nearest hundred above and below and circle the rounded number that is closest to the given. So, the nearest hundred. So, between 888, there is 900, and... There's 800, and, but it's closer to 900. 133, there's 100, and there's 200. It's closer to 100 because it's less than 5. It's tens place. There's 900. There's 1,000. It's closer to 900. There's 400. And there's 300. It's closer to 400. There's 288, which is between 300 and 200. It's closer to 300 because of that 8 there. There's 300, and there's 200 again. It's going to be closer to 300. 900 and 800 is going to be closer to 900. 400 and 300 is going to be closer to 400. 1,000 and 900, it's going to be closer to 1,000. Um... So that's what this is saying. 
Now we're going to do the nearest thousand. So between 7,555, there's going to be seven, oh, nearest thousand. So that's 7,000 and 8,000. It's going to be closer to 8,000 because that five. There's 8,000 and there's 9,000. It's going to be closer to 9,000, 8,000, and 9,000. It's going to be closer to 8,000 because of that one. There's 9,000 and there's 10,000. It's going to be closer to 10,000 because of that eight and we're rounding up. There's 7,000 and there's 8,000. We're going to be rounding up. 6,000 and 7,000, we're going to be rounding up. 4,000 and 5,000, we're going to be rounding up. 6,000 and 7,000, we're going to be rounding up because of that five, those fives. 3,000 and 4,000, we're going to be rounding down because of that three. And yeah, that's what you should get. We could do this one to round to the nearest thousand above and below and circle that one. So between 87,000, we're going to do 87,000 and 88,000. Because of that three over there, we're going to be rounding down 68,000, 69,000. Because of that four, we're going to be rounding down. 26,000, 27,000, we're going to be rounding down because of that 3, 28,000, and 29,000, we're going to be rounding up because of that 8, 55,000, 56,000, we're going to be rounding down because of that 4, 19,000 and 20,000. We're going to be rounding up because of that 9. 29,000 and 30,000. We're going to be rounding up because of this 9. 23,000 and 24,000. We're going to be rounding down because of that 1. 23, 23,000. And 24,000, we're going to be rounding down because of that 4. And those are our answers.